So now we move to social policy during the war, during the Second World War, which happened from 1939 to 1945. So six years of World War. So when Britain declared war on Germany in September 1939, there was none of the flag, flag waving patriotism as it was present in the during the First World War. It was a war which was forced on Britain and it was more a defensive war than an offensive war. Initially it was thought that you know maybe war will end in a few months or a year but gradually it dawned on the people that it's going to be a long war and it became clear with the fall of France in June 1940. So British uh, German uh, forces captured France, German, uh, Belgium and Netherlands and it became very clear that it will not be easy to defeat Germany. Uh, so a long war, a long haul was predicted. The life in Britain was, of course, disrupted by the war. There were large-scale bombings by the German planes. Life was disrupted by sirens, bombings, anti-aircraft guns, and running to bomb shelter. More than 60,000 civilians were killed, and 86,000 were seriously injured. There was rationing of food in from January 1940 till the end of war, and clothes from January 1941. By 1943, every house, household item were, was either unavailable or in short supply, and people had to queue for these items. Even milk, bread, and these uh, kind of items had were in short supply. There were fires and blackouts. Britain was the most mobilized of the belligerents. It was a small country with a small population. So every man, every woman, every even old people were mobilized and working something for uh, related to war. If not fighting, they were uh, rationing, they were helping uh, blackouts and all these things. The effects of war was that there were decreased social discrimination. Taxes were increased to new level as war continued to happen. Civil servants controlled everything in Britain because all the things and all the businesses had to be had to be used for the war after war effort. So they had to be controlled by the state. The public service employment, of course, increased from 3 million to 5 million. There was nationalization of hospital services in Britain. Secondary schooling was made compulsory. All major industries were controlled by the government. Infant, child and maternity services were expanded. So if you look at these all these things together, you will see that it was like a dry run of what was coming after the war. It was a dry run of the extensive welfare state establishment that was coming after the war by administered by the Labour Party. <laughs>